In today's video, you're going to learn a whole host of skills and techniques that are going to allow you to make unique icons such as you can see on screen right now. Plus, there was actually a test at the very end of the video, so do stick around for that test. Now, helping make today's video possible is Surfshark, and it's a trending data protection toolset that has so much to offer for you and your internet privacy and safety. And you can learn more about that later in today's video. Today, we're going to use Illustrator brushes, masks, and other techniques to make this neat icon design. So let's jump right into it. So make sure that you've got the stroke selected only in the color palette located in the bottom left of your screen, and then press P for the pen tool. Hold down Shift, and then click to make a perfectly straight line like so. Increase the stroke weight, and then apply the same stroke style that I'm going to use on my line here. Outline the stroke to turn it into a vector shape and ensure that you're using a deep black for your design. Now by holding down the auth option key and then clicking and dragging, create a duplication below. Rotate this by 180 degrees and place it exactly below the first one. For the second shape, we need to apply a dark grey colour and not a white. This is going to benefit us later when we apply a mask to our design. Bring down a guide, and if you don't have the rulers open, press Command or Control R. And then we need to make the selection of the two shapes as level as possible with the guide. So once ready, duplicate the selection below perfectly and then press Command or Control D to repeat the process a few more times over. So we're nearly ready to make the Illustrator brush for the icon design. But first, press M for the rectangle tool, and then create a shape over the selection like so. Select everything, and then right or Control click the selection to generate a clipping mask. Now we do this just because it tidies up the edges, so the selection isn't jagged. To actually revert the selection back into individual vector shapes, we can use the trim function in the Pathfinder window. The clipping mask that we just used basically compiled the shapes together and this reverts them back. We're now ready to make the brush for our design, so head into the brushes window and then click the top right fly down menu to create a new brush. You need to do this whilst your shapes are selected. We're going to use a pattern brush today and the default settings should be just fine for your design. Now, the brush is ready to make the actual icon design. So go ahead and press L for the ellipse tool, and then create a stroke circle by holding down shift. With the circle selected, click the brush that we've just made in the brushes window. Illustrator is going to apply the brush stroke to the shape and then scale down the circle until the middle either has no hole or a very small one. The next step is essential to follow along with, so do follow along carefully. Press C for the scissors tool and then click the right anchor point and also the top one. This is going to cut 90 degree section from our circle. Now reflect this section on a horizontal plane in the reflect menu, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Select every part of the icon design and rotate it by 90 degrees. So now the cutout section should be in the top left. Using the Alt Option key, duplicate the design and then nudge it over so it's exactly in the same position that you can see on the screen now. Okay, now rotate the original section by 180 degrees. And 
and then bring this part right here to the very front of all layers. We now have the icon design and you can adjust the placement perfectly by nudging it to the right. But finally, we need to add some color, which does require that we perform some specific moves. But firstly, if you try to resize your design, it's gonna do some funky things and that's because it's did a stroke. So go ahead and expand your design like so. Now move the icon off to the side somewhere and copy it with Command or Control C. Now create a gradient rectangle with the rectangle tool. And head into the transparency window. With the rectangle selected, make a mask in the transparency window and then click the right hand box and press Command or Control V to paste the icon design in. Position it properly and then avert the mask. To actually move the entire design around, click the left screen in the transparency window which will allow you to do that. So now it's test time and I'm going to let the video run without my voice over because my voice that is not doing that well due to stress and just being under the weather and whatnot. So do read carefully and good luck on the test guys. So click the link below to head over to Surfshark and explore the huge range of sets that come with the subscription to their toolset. You'll have access to things such as high grade VPN services, encrypting your information making it near impossible to hack, and it also prevents you from being subject to targeted ads online. And not only that, but it can help you save money while shopping online. Price discrimination is a widespread tactic across industries and Surfshark can enable you to leverage it to your benefit. There are more benefits to Surfshark and you and your career and just your general online usage. So do head over to the link down below and check out Surfshark today. And of course if you want to keep learning more about graphic design, boosting your skills and just generally becoming a better designer, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. I do hope you enjoyed today's video and you've learned some skills on making this icon and do wait for that video on Friday where I have a comprehensive guide on hierarchy. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.